to reviewers and Mr. Who Reviews. Today I'm reviewing South Park, the super best friends. And in this set, uh, street musician David Blaine comes to South Park, and the boys decide to uh, go to see uh, his uh, workshop or this meeting thing they have for him. And then there's a cult. And the people in her called a uh, bl blind hoses. Yeah, and they shave everybody's hair off that they're bald. Uh, the first stand is the only one that thinks there's some weird going on, and he tries to convince Kyle that they need to escape, but causes to into the group to see reason. So uh, I think a few weeks or just some time passes since uh, Stan escaped. And you'll see Jesus hoping he might have some answers since uh, they play him doing like a show in Denver where he eats his own face. And Jesus tries doing some of his old tricks but yeah, it's already that impressive to two of them involve uh, him song so stuff and asking the people to turn around and then switch himself in or pull himself in and, turn, and tell them to turn back around. I don't know. I uh, don't you know uh, Blaine wants uh, the government to give him uh, tax exempt status so Blaine Tology can be a real religion. Yeah. And Jesus as he brings Stan to meet uh, the super best friends who are other religious icons like Buddha, uh, the Jewish version of Muhammad, I think it was, I don't know, Mo Mo I think Muhammad. Oh. Muhammad is there as well. And the uh, Aquaman uh, of the team, Seaman. And his bird swallow. I don't know what they're thinking. Anyway, uh, then the brain solves find out that the government isn't gonna give tax and status, status. So they plan decide to bring them to Washington and convince all of them to uh, mass suicide by drowning themselves in the reflecting pond outside of the. White House or Oval Office? I don't know. And um, just now, uh, or just then, or uh, Carl is thinking that this is going too far, and actually talking to Cartman, but Cartman actually tells on him and calls in a bubble dome. And they have a, have a, a hose attached to it so he can drown. And the super friends do try to stop playing, but he brings the, the Lincoln statue to life. And um, Jesus has to ask um, Moses how to defeat the giant statue of Lincoln. And what's up is obvious that they have to build a giant statue of John Luke with spooked. But I don't know. And. Uh, Eventually, uh, Sam and Kyle, uh, or Sam finds Kyle after you know you go oh, they kill Kenny, you you know, and the Lincoln says he was actually sh shakes the uh, Kyle in the dome like a snow globe. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, the Lincoln says he was uh, defeated as always. Blame and the stand just gives the message of the episode. And him and Carl as wake up and Carl's slagging them and then just being up with kicking them. And the two best friends are off again. And this is just a good parody of the super friends. I and uh, just, I like the powers that some of the other uh, religious icons uh, have like get uh, uh, John Smith has 
ice powers that Krishna shape shift and Muhammad the fire powers as Jesus only power is a carpeting yeah and the the religion called for Taoism has like mind powers I forgot the guy's name um, I don't know why Seaman has a bird sidekick is supposed to reference that falcon and his birds like if his power is out to do with talking to a uh, uh, fish and that wouldn't he like a, a fish psychic or some other aquatic mammal or whatever I just don't know and this isn't the first time Sapphire did an episode about cults since they did have an episode with the KKK in it and in, in uh, a future season they have a Scientology in it and, and a standard and same standard there a uh, reincarnated the founder I don't know and uh, I do find a bit, bit funny that Moses is a supercomputer I don't know why they thought that was kinda good um, I just wonder what other religious icons they're gonna put in this if they do it in the future Uh, super, uh, super best friends episode, and this is before the whole my eleven happened, and they were able to sell Muhammad. So that's kind of good. I would have thought that the Muslims would want that Muhammad and this to be censored as well, but don't know. Um, what else? Um. I thought it was kind of good seeing Cobb and Carton get along. And I got a bit funny that they blink sometimes when uh, after he talks uh, sometimes. I think that's the way uh, Matt Stone and Trey Parker make fun of them, but mm. uh, some of the tricks they showed uh, was kind of good, cool, but how the hell could he have done the Levantine trick as a stage magician? Using the these wires, it was like uh, it was it, like he's a street position and he's a stage position to the floating trick. I don't know. Anyway, the season episode and uh, the content. Absolutely, see you guys there.